The Cecil and Ida Green Center for Reproductive Biology Sciences at UT Southwestern Medical Center is an endowed basic science research center that's affiliated with the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. We are trying to use the tools of modern biology to really advance the field of reproductive biology. Um, these tools would include uh, genomics and computational biology as well as the latest uh, technology and tools in molecular biology. The Green Center really has three areas that we're focusing on. One is the, the basic biology of reproduction and um, this encompasses many uh, peripheral areas that are also important for reproductive biology. So we have ongoing projects related to stem cells, um, inflammation, metabolism. In my lab we study how a single cell uh, becomes really complicated organism carrying hundreds of different kinds of cells. And so what we do is we study how that um, single source of information um, is parsed apart into different pieces of information that different cells need to carry out their function within our bodies. By using embryonic stem cells as a model, we can really study many fundamental processes and I think through this we can, our, our discoveries can be applicable to development, applicable to disease, and so I think we're in a really um, exciting time and place. We also have an um, important focus on molecular mechanisms and in particular we're interested in the mo molecular mechanisms of gene regulation. At the same time, we're uh, integrating the basic science with the um, clinical research going on in the clinical mission of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. And an important facet of this is that we actually have clinicians who are working in the basic science laboratories in the Green Center. By embedding a basic research center within the clinical department, uh, we really have the opportunity to foster collaboration, foster synergies, foster creativity uh, to really make bench to bedside a, a reality. There are a number of examples of that already occurring within the department and within the Green Center. One area of note is, is the area of gynecologic cancers. One of the ongoing projects is looking at the activity of the PARP enzymes as a clinical marker for the um, outcomes in ovarian cancer. We're actually using technology that was developed in the Green Center for the detection of poly-ADP ribose, which is the product of the PARP enzymes. These molecular tools that we have developed have been useful for screening primary ovarian cancer samples. Our work on ovarian cancers is really driven by the gynecological oncology fellows who work in the Department of, of Obstetrics and Gynecology, but do research rotations in the Green Center. Each one of our fellows um, spends approximately 18 to 19 months training under the guidance of Dr. Lee Krauss here at the Green Center. Um, they learn everything about PARP, uh, PARP behavior, the science of it, and they are able to also bring in some knowledge about gynecologic oncology and um, in the last few years specifically about ovarian cancer. Another important area of research in the Green Center is our long-standing project on premature delivery. This is a project that's headed by Carol Mendelson. We're focusing on the molecular mechanisms that drive um, preterm delivery uh, in humans. The Green Center has always provided an interactive and collaborative environment and has involved scientists in a variety of disciplines. And um, it echoes the environment of UT Southwestern in the sense that this institution has greatly fostered research in a variety of areas. We have another important area which is genomics and bioinformatics and this is an important aspect of, of really everything that we do from both the, um, for both the biology as well as the molecular mechanisms. We study uh, placenta genomics, uh, which means we try to understand what genes are controlled in the placenta and how that gene expression program uh, changes uh, both over time and in response to uh, different environmental conditions. My laboratory uses three different kinds of tools in order to understand the questions that we're trying to study. We use biotechnology to identify new tools, new ways to interrogate the genome. 
we use the latest developments in genomics to collect large amounts of data from these measurements. And finally, we use bioinformatics to make sense of all of these measurements. We are looking at ways to interrogate the genome in ways that haven't even been um, thought of before. So we are um, interrogating multiple aspects of the genome at the same time and doing this at a very, very um, fine granularity at the single cell level. And, and this, I think, is going to allow us to push forward to truly understand how our genome works and to see how the genome is contributing to diseases uh, that uh, today we can only describe, but in the future we hope to have actual molecular mechanisms for. I'm excited about the prospect of really taking reproductive biology into the modern age and applying the tools of genomics and computational biology, focusing on molecular mechanisms, and really uncovering the um, details that will allow us to have a better overall understanding of how reproductive biology contributes to human health.